Hi folks, my name is Mario Pitch and this is the second video about uh, TiddlyWeb at Home for VirtualBox. In the first video I demonstrated how to create a new virtual machine that runs the live CD uh, with the distribution and which starts automatically the uh, TiddlyWeb server with the IP address. So it's running on 10.0.0.37 so 10 0037 and port 8080 and the default TillyWiki is started. The problem here is that everything runs in RAM so now what we need is we need to install uh, the stuff to the hard disk of the virtual machine. On the left side there is the page. If you like it to see the pictures, just zoom a little bit and go down, 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 that's it here, now we have to install the ISO image here uh, let's close it, right click um, in the applications menu there is something which is called um, the task panel which have has the operating system settings this is built into the Slitas distribution so I'm user root and password root so we will change that later the default is root and root so now you can see a nice overview about the different settings that are really active at the moment so we see we have uh, Ethernet interface 0 with the port address this is what we need if there is Ethernet ports port 1 then something went wrong so in normal cases it should be 0 but it can be adjusted if you click it and you can say manual edit and then you can change it to 1, to 0, whatever is there so it will be fixed then ok what we want to do now is we want to install the stuff so let's say install it's very nice menu driven, install Slitas at the very beginning we need to um, adjust the partition so we need to execute gparted and say device create a new partition table this is the hard disk that we created for the virtual machine in the first, in the first video so we create a partition table apply right click then we create the new partition with ext4 and I name it uh, tilweb root tilweb root you can use any name that you can remember so say add apply apply It's a little bit slow because I'm recording the video, so it needs some time. Say close. Okay, now we can close Gparted and we can go on with the continue installation with the installation. Okay, it takes uh, the source information from the live CD and we want the hard disk FSDA1 and want to format this with a ext, uh, no, ext4 then we need a root password it's important that you change it for the demo I leave it alone and then we need a password for the tux user which is the default user and there has to be a password because afterwards um, if there is no password um, connecting with uh, SSH uh, will be not possible so you need to have a password here install the group installer and proceed installation yes so this also will take some time 
I'll make a short pause and be back uh, when everything is finished. Okay, I'm back, the installation is done. So you can see it uh, describes, it has a nice output and uh, tells uh, what is what it did. And it also it checks the CD-ROM, so now we can say restart and reboot. Now it should start from the hard disk. There is the bootloader. And the procedure is the same as, as with the live CD, so it will extract the whole uh, operating system into the RAM and run it from there. There is also a boot log, uh, so this is what you can see here, uh, which can be viewed afterwards with the task panel. So there is an option, so you if something uh, doesn't work, um, then you can see it in the boot log. So I log in at user tux, with part was tux, and let a h top, oops, h top, and the teleweb user is active and the server is running. So let's have a look. Shift reload. Okay, now we have a new installation and the savings that I do now are real and stored to the hard disk. There is some cool feature also installed inside the virtual box. There is a little browser which is called uh, Parts Web which fits very well with Tilliwiki and we can say 10.0.0.37 port 8080 so we have the instance also here create Tilliwiki and have a new tiller ASDF inside the VM done Reload. Here it is inside the VM. So that's basically it. I hope you like it and feedback is very welcome. Have fun.